So let's take a few minutes to go over the torque problems from Unit 4, 17 through 19. First problem, you have a door, and you're going to apply a, a uh, you want to find the torque if you apply a 60 newton force, 0.8 mil meters from the hinges um, at a 30 degree angle to the door. So I draw a little sketch. A uh, little red dot represents the hinge, and then the purple line represents the door. So you're going to push on the door an angle of 30 degrees with the door. Um, it's not the most efficient way to open a door, but it'll work because there's a component, at least, that is perpendicular to the door and uh, will cause it to rotate around the hinge. So we need to lever arm distance. That's 0.8 meters. And then the force is 60 newtons. So let's figure out how to do the calculation. We're going to say that torque is equal to FD sine theta. F is the force. D is the lever arm and sine of the angle between the force and the um, lever arm. So 60 newtons times 0.8 meters times the sine of 30 degrees. And really quickly, you can figure that's going to be 24 newton meters. Remember, that is the unit for torque, newton meters. It's kind of similar to joules, except we don't use joules for uh, torque, because torque is a force times a distance, and we kind of think about it that way. So we leave it in newton meters. Okay, number 18. In number 18, you have a bar, and it is it makes an angle. You have it like propped up in a corner, and it's it has an angle of 40 degrees with the vertical. And you know intuitively that if you were holding up that bar and you dropped it, it would fall. It would rotate down around that um, corner where the where the um, where the bar rests, so that it's like a little hinge at the bottom. Um, what's going to make it fall? Well, gravity's going to make it fall. So the trick in this problem is understanding, understanding how to account for the, the force of gravity. And so what we do is if we have a nice uniform shape, which we do with this particular bar, we're going to assume that all of the weight is at the center of mass. And so symmetrically speaking, that would be at the center of the bar. So we apply the force, that Fg force, which is going to be your Mg force, right? is going to be applied at the center of mass of the bar. Um, the bar has a length of 1.2 meters, so that center of mass is going to be at, one, at 0.6 meters. <clears throat> so that gives us our lever arm. So torque is going to be Fd sine theta again. Uh, the force, in this case, is going to be an mg force. And then the lever arm is that distance to the center of mass. That's where the gravity is going to be acting, which is going to be 0.6 meters. And then the angle is 40 degrees, so um, m g times the lever arm and then times the sine of 40 degrees. So crank that out the calculator and you find torque is 7.6, again, newton meters. Okay, last problem. Last problem. This is a spool problem or a cylinder problem. Um, the cool thing about cylinder problems when you're unwinding something is if you apply a force, it's always going to be perpendicular to the radius of the spool so that you don't have to ever worry about a sine of the angle since the angle is always 90 degrees. So in this case we have uh, the radius of the cylinder we're told is uh, 0.2 meters um, and the force is 50 newtons and so the question is what is the torque that's going to cause that cylinder to rotate so it's going to be Fd sine theta. It's going to cause it to rotate around. We've got a 90 degree angle so we say 50 newtons times the radius times the sine of 90 which is 1 so that just becomes 50 newtons times 0.2, or 10 newton meters. Now, in the case of the drawing that I've drawn right here, um, the thing is going to be rotating in the clockwise direction, and that's true for the, for the diagram above also. So technically, you might say that the torque is negative, because we talk about a negative torque is one that rotates it around this way, or clockwise, and then a positive torque would rotate it around this way. But because the problem wasn't specific, um, it doesn't tell you exactly which direction it was rotating. I wouldn't worry about the signs. Uh, just worrying about the magnitudes. Okay.